Hi, I'm at Branham's Jewelry in East Tawas, Michigan, a magnificent 6,500 square foot structure, probably the prettiest jewelry store I've ever been in, and a company with a 57 year reputation for quality, integrity, and service. They've done everything they need to do to have a successful store. Now, it happens they do the marketing right as well, but I'm here to make a point, and the point's this. To get the store performing at peak efficiency, they've got to do the marketing to get people to walk through that door. The right advertising, the right merchandising, the right sales training, and the right customer experience. We're going to be talking about how you can do this in your store so that you can maximize your results as well. So, let's take a trip through the world of jewelry marketing. I'm George Prout, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Gems One. And I also, for the last five years, have written a monthly column for Southern Jewelry News and Mid-America Jeweler entitled Applied Marketing 101, where I've tried to explain from the perspective of retail jewelry how best to do the marketing elements in your store. With that in mind, we've decided to do a weekly e-blast to you. Hopefully, typically 120 seconds or less. I don't want to take too much of your time but with the intention of bring you, bring you a tasty tidbit, something that you can use to make your store run better, to make more sales, some element that can help you in that incredible process that you go through running your store every day. So to start the whole series, I wanted to address the overall question of marketing itself. You know, when I talk with you and your peers, what I hear over and over again is the hardest part for you to get right is marketing which actually comes as somewhat of a surprise to me because for me it's the most fun part and probably as a result it's the easiest part. But I've spent years trying to understand what is it that's so doggone hard. And I think I have finally stumbled upon the realization that many of you have a tough time with the marketing because of the way you define marketing. So in this first installment, let's actually define what marketing is. Now, if you look it up in a book, you will find that marketing is defined something like that set of activities that facilitate or consummate market exchanges. Well, I don't know about you, but when I read a definition like that, it makes my eyes glaze over. How in the world are you ever going to use that definition to create an action plan? Fortunately, many years ago, when I took my first graduate level course on marketing, it was a symposium that took place every Thursday night. It was three hours long. And the first class was a three hour discussion on defining marketing. The professor had a good idea in doing this. And over the course of that discussion, we finally arrived at a definition that basically went like this. Marketing is the act of finding out what the customer wants and then giving it to them. Now, if, if you can just incorporate that thought as you do the various elements of marketing, which might include merchandising and advertising and sales training, all the stuff that you do, if it's all driven by that one single purpose, which is find out what the customer wants and give it to them, you'll end up with better outcomes. So that's your tip for this week. Have a great week. I hope you sell a bunch of stuff and see if you can create some new customers.